The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John, chapter 21, beginning at the 15th verse. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. According to John's Gospel, at the Last Supper, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. Jesus speaks those words to all disciples of every generation. Just as God the Father's love for Jesus is a given, so Jesus' love for us is a given. All that is asked of us is that we remain in his love, that we remain in communion with him. In the case of those, those disciples who were with Jesus at the Last Supper, they did not succeed in remaining in Jesus' love. They did not remain in communion with him. With the exception of the beloved disciple, John, they all abandoned him. According to today's Gospel reading, the first question the risen Jesus asks Peter is, Do you love me? Jesus was giving Peter the opportunity to come back into communion with him. The risen Lord gives the same opportunity to all of us and gives us that opportunity over and over again. The question, do you love me, is asked by the one who has loved us as the Father has loved him, who has loved us with a divine love. It is not an accusing question. It is an inviting question, calling us back into communion with the Lord if, for whatever reason, we have fallen out of communion with him. The Eucharist, or Holy Communion, as we often call it, is a moment when we have that question addressed to us in a special way. It is an opportunity for us to respond to Jesus' question, as Peter does in today's Gospel reading. Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And then to live out that love of the Lord by loving one another as he has loved us.